video, we are talking about 12 pose ideas that will never let you down, that you can keep in your back pocket, and that you'll never forget. I gave them like fun razzle dazzle names. So then next time you're shooting photos, it all comes back to you. Remember how to do the pose. You know what it looks like. I'm not only showing you guys what the poses look like and a bunch of examples of those poses, but I'm also showing you guys how to actually do them. If you want to see more videos like this one or other videos on fashion style, fun lifestyle things, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Join the family. It's a great place to be. And now let's hop on in. This first pose is so easy to do. All you have to do for this one is find something, a railing, a wall, furniture, whatever. Pop one or both arms up and you just lean back. Personally, I like to cross one leg over the other. It gives you a really nice silhouette and it elongates the appearance of your legs, which us petite gals, we love to do. Now, a few alterations you can make on this one would be leaning with just one arm and using the other to play with your hair, fix your sunglasses, or hold a prop like coffee or flowers, or opting for sitting instead of standing, and then leaning back on some stairs, a chair, or the floor, wherever you're sitting. Next up, we've got the boy sit. This one is super easy to do. All you need is somewhere to sit. Here, I'm using this little curb, but you can use a chair, you can use a wall, you can use kind of anything where you can it. All right, I'm gonna put you guys here. You're probably gonna get a nice crotch shot. I apologize, but also you're welcome. This is one of my favorite go-tos. Also a very cool one that kind of has a breezy, effortless type of vibe about it. The reason I call this one the boy sit is think of how dudes traditionally sit. A bit of a man spread with a bit of a lean, typically forward. I would definitely recommend only doing this pose with jeans or pants, maybe with the occasional pair of shorts, given that they don't flash your hoo-ha. Check and then double check because I, I've been there. I love doing this pose to show off a cool outfit for any time I want a quick, nearly no fail pose. My other big recommendation for this one is to avoid using it in any sort of more formal or fancy situation, which almost sounds like a given, but if it becomes your go-to, then it will become your go-to. So you have to be conscious to not use this in those type of situations. So definitely be considerate on the whens and the wheres of certain poses, especially the boy sit. Walk this way takes a little bit of practice, but honestly, it's pretty fun, and you end up with some really rad on-the-go street style photos. To be totally transparent and straight up though, it does take some time to get a good shot where everything lines up and is looking good, but the payoff is so worth it. Take a couple of steps forward in frame and just keep repeating the action, doing slightly different things each time. Maybe you look away, maybe you look down, take longer strides, do little leaps in your steps, fix your hair, have fun with this one, have fun with the actions that you do. Do not be afraid to do multiple takes to make sure you get something good. And also I want to stress this, make sure you're checking the photos and reviewing them as you go. So that way if there's like a wardrobe malfunction or maybe you're making a facial expression that you're not loving, or maybe something is just like weird or funky, you get to see it and you get to correct it and adjust accordingly so you end up with some really amazing photos. My last tip for this one is to make sure to shoot this on either an iPhone burst, a live photo, a high shutter speed if you're shooting on a camera, or on the highest interval on Lens Buddy. Now for the headache pose. Basically, again, you could do it with one hand or you can do it with two, and it's kind of up to you what kind of facial expression you like for this one. So what I like to do sometimes is the two and be like screaming almost or like, woo, woohoo. You could also just do one hand and then again, another hand on the hip, it can be in the pocket. You put either one or both arms up and you act like you've got a headache. You place them on your head, you kind of move around. So I actually did not name this one my titas in the Philippines and my mom actually dubbed this one the headache. For my Tagalog speakers out there, that's right, sikit ang ulo ko. Every time I shot a photo doing this pose, all of them would comment and say I was doing my signature headache pose. Because... 
fourth wall brick has a ton of options. I'm gonna share some of my favorites, but you really can get so creative and have so much fun with this one. So top three favorites, number one, is the Iron Man pose. Now you can also call this one like the stop taking photos of me, but honestly, I see it kind of more as the, uh, it looks like Iron Man. It looks like when Mr. Tony Stark puts his hand up and he's doing the Iron Man pose. But basically for this pose, you're gonna act like you're trying to almost stop the person from taking photos. Like, oh, haha, ha, I'm already so done taking photos. Maybe you're reaching for the phone to take it back from them something along those lines. I know it might sound and feel a little bit silly, but I promise it looks so fun in a photo. Another fourth wall break pose would be picture perfect, where you kind of line up your thumb and your index finger. You're lining up your picture perfect shot. This one is just fun and you kind of have to play around with it and kind of work if you are shooting this by yourself, using the front camera to line up your hands where they should go. And if someone is shooting the photo of you, have them help you kind of line up your hands in the right spot. And you've got this really fun spiffy little number. Wow, did I really just say spiffy little number? Honestly, I would say that in real life. Last one to highlight is cheers. This one is great for if you have a drink because I don't know what else you cheers with besides a drink. So for this one, you kind of just act like the camera is a person and you're cheersing your drink with them. Your coffee, your water, your wine, your sparkling water. I already said water, so saying sparkling water, it felt kind of redundant. Ooh, you're cheersing your LaCroix. Moving on, the thinker is a classic. For this one, you can be sitting, you can be standing, leaning forward, eating at a restaurant, whatever. All you do is you place your chin in your hand. You can do open palm, closed fist, whatever suits your fancy, whatever fits the moment. Just make lots of little variations to really just find whatever you like best. I look back at it. I look back at it. I love this one. Stand with your back facing the camera and turn and turn and turn and turn. That's kind of all you do for this one. However, my pro tip for this is to not whip your head and your body super fast. Instead, move way slower than you initially think you should. Like pretend you're moving slow-mo. This is going to ensure you get just a very pretty hair flutter versus kind of like a little hurricane, hair in a hurricane moment. This is another pose to shoot either on iPhone burst, live photo, a high shutter speed, or on the highest interval on Lens Buddy. This next one is an Instagram girly favorite. It is so, so easy to do, and it's really great for any time you're feeling shy. Your mask has rubbed off a good portion of your makeup, or you just wanna be a little bit more low key. For the top half of the pose, act like you see something interesting on the ground. And for the bottom half of your body, move around a bit and try some different things. Cross one leg over the other, take little steps back and forth, shift around, swing your arms, play with your hair, clothes, or jewelry, or hold some kind of prop. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this one feels a little bit dumb when you're doing it, but it looks so good in photos and it shows off your outfit in a really cute way. Essentially, all you do for this one is you pretend that your pants are falling. Take either one or both of your hands. You're gonna put it on the waistband of your pants, trousers, jeans, skirt, shorts, whatever you're wearing, bikini bottoms, I've seen that and it's very cute. And you're just gonna put it on the waistband and give it the ever so slightest little tug and you just pretend you're adjusting them a bit. You can also do this type of pose with your top, pretending you're fixing your top, adjusting the strap as if it's like falling. My shoe is untied is the sister to my pants are falling. To get this pose, you are going to use your 
imagination. And you're going to pop a one knee squat as if you were going to tie your shoe. From here, you can either pretend to tie your shoe if you want that kind of look. This is great to do if you have a cool sneaker you're trying to showcase or just sort of details you're trying to show off. Or other variations you can do on this are while having that one knee squat, do something else with your hands. Play with your hair, adjust your clothing, hold a prop, pretend to check your phone. I always love how that looks. It looks just very... I don't know, very cool, very just like chill. Imagine you see something in the distance. Your friend, a hot guy, a hot girl, a cute cat, a two for one sale, a cool car, dollar pizza, and glance over at it. And as per usual, if you don't know what to do with your hands, play with your hair, play around with your clothing, have a prop like coffee, flowers, whatever's easiest and most comfortable for you. Last one is the sun is blinding me. It looks so cool, so chic, and it's a great one to reach for when the sun is genuinely blinding you. Or also overexposing your face in a photo. You know how sometimes if the sun is too bright on your face, the phone just kind of like blows out your face and it makes it just look a little crazy. If that's happening, try this pose. I hope you guys got all the pose inspo and you are prepared for next time you're shooting photos and you're trying to figure out what to do with your hands, how to stand, where to look. I hope you guys just got all the inspo. And if you guys want to see a part two to this pose idea, ooh, or if you guys want a pose ideas video on how to pose with another person, like a best friend or like a significant other, significant others, you guys can also let me know in the comment section down below. Now, for today's quote of the day, I have quite a fantastic quote. Today's quote reads, the more you love your decisions, the less you need others to love them. I love this quote as I kind of grew on my confidence journey and self-belief journey. I really just started noticing more and more how much less and less I needed that outside validation to validate yourself, to be proud of yourself, to be confident with yourself is immensely more rewarding than outside validation. If you guys want to keep up with me more throughout the week, you guys can find me on TikTok and on Instagram at Jessica Neistat. We're always doing fun things over there. TikTok has been popping, so if you guys want to be a part of like more fun things, go follow me on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!